Bro, you're not hard. Oh, take your chain. I knew a woman that was in an abusive relationship, and she tried to abuse me. Oh, whoa. I said no homo. I literally said no homo. My socks was on the whole time. You're listening to the Burger Hour. Burger Hour. Burger Hour. Podcast. Burger. 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 What's everybody? Welcome back to the Burger Hour Podcast. Black people's favorite podcast. I'm your host, S. Burgers, joined with Thomas Christopher Salisbury, Salisbury Jr. the third. The fourth today. Wow. <laughs> you you leveled up. Just, today we're is. talking about Ricky Smiley. Doesn't like black people. Word? Yeah, apparently. But you know who loves black people? Who? Krishan Rock. That was terrible. That was terrible. But she did have a baby on IG Live, which is notable to talk about. Somebody needs to get on her head. Speaking of getting on the head accountability, Steve Harvey oh, got on his uh, social media manager's head. Oh we talking God. about that today. That's terrible. But that happened on social media. What else happened on social media? You could have just said, what is, else is terrible? <laughs> I could have. <laughs> that was just always like, I was making a different connection. Bro had to like go all the way around the world. You know like, who else has been all the way around the world? I like sightseeing. But you know who you know, else like sightseeing? <laughs> <laughs> Obama might be gay. Dang. Obama might be gay. Obama might be gay. No wonder this, he did all that stuff for them gay people. That's so true. This and all this next on the Burger Hour podcast. We listen to it to the Burger <laughs> Hour. <laughs> all right, straight into Ricky Smiley, bro. Yeah. We have gotten so comfortable that decorum is gone. Yep. There's no decorum at graduation. Nope. People just yell and scream. If they, if they say don't yell and scream or dress a certain way. Everybody feel like they can do what they want to do and you can't say nothing to them. The problem in today's society, that correction has come into question. And if there's no correction, you don't have no order. Yeah. Right? Braces hurt, but they correct the smile. In mm -hmm. today's society, like I correct people as I go along, but I'm real nice to everybody. But if anybody come in my space and do something that bothers me, I correct on the spot. I will hold you accountable to your action, not allow you to manipulate, and I hold you accountable and I'll be nice to you and take the picture, whatever the case may be. But decorum and dressing these people wear what they want to wear, they do what they want to do, and you can't say nothing. No. And that's a problem. And that's why people that, that like us. Uh, What's your thoughts? I just think he's right. You got to give straight thoughts for the clip, bro. Like, look, look. I, I, I don't think he's wrong. I think he's 100% correct. There is like a lack of order that goes on with oh the black God, people. Oh my God, this sucks for but the clip, bro. But in the same this tone. start over. Why am I going to start over? This is a terrible clip. You have to give the straightforward opinion. What? Say it. You got to come in hot. All right, let me see. You Even go. if your opinion is not hot, super hot. Oh, right, you go. Ricky Smiley got no clue what he's talking about. What is wrong with screaming at a graduation? I'm going to scream. You went to that dumb school for 12 years. I'm going to scream your name. Because guess what? When I graduate, I don't want them to scream my name. Mm. And do. I see. And I'm going to wear a bonnet to my graduation. <laughs> All right, now you're going to lie. See? No, I'm the quorum is lost. lost. The quorum is lost. Ah, look. I think that we have to admit that our culture, a.k.a. black people, is loud. That's What's true. wrong with that? That's true. You know, I understand where he's coming from with decorum, but... There's a difference between having decorum and just being loud. Like, why we can't just be loud? Mm -hmm. We loud. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But sometimes it can be a distraction, don't you think? It can be, but that's what we need to address. And I feel like that's when it's decorum. But mm -hmm. I think he was just, with just the graduation analogy that he used or example, that was too far for me. Because that's not a lack of decorum. That's just wanting to be loud. And, and I remember when I played football, my family was the loudest. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I was That's not true. even. I was hard. I won't say that, but I wasn't the like. I wasn't fast. I was just a good line, you know, lineman. That's mm -hmm. a regular position. I wasn't the quarterback, but my family was loud for me. They was acting like you. Know, first string. Yeah. What is first string? All right. So obviously you wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? This is the first people that hit the field. Like the first group of people. Who like, calls it first string? Is that the name? That's the first? name. Or did your school call it that? It's first string for like first all string. sports. You mean uh, like starter? Yeah, but That's it's first string. I was starter. In football, at least. You starter? I, okay, I was okay, starter. Okay, okay, okay. I was hard at my position. That's good. Like, when I was center, I just wasn't the quarterback. <laughs> you yeah. know, I wasn't making no touchdowns. But they were screaming for you. I, yeah. There is some, I feel like, uh, there are some circ certain circumstances where it's, it's it's cool to be loud. But there's other times where it's just like, all right, you're doing a lot right now. So I don't know about it. Like, a football game, okay, cool. Graduation, like, okay, cool. Um, but hold on. Well, hold on. The thing about graduations is, why do we have to be quiet? Come on, bro. They got microphones. You know, like million dollar amplification. I have I have a theory on why they think we should be quiet, which it makes me kind of want to do it more, is because the people who don't have no family. 
Oh. It's such an awkward silence. It's such a, it's awkward. It is. They be Desmond Black. <laughs> ah! Baby. Baby. <laughs> Tanner Washington. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Go Tanner. And it's like his girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. I can, see, Sorry I can feel to that. Them. I can feel that. But uh I Kimberly. didn't graduate. <laughs> I did it, bro. I didn't graduate. You didn't, bro. I didn't have that's no graduation. So, sad. so you know, so when I graduate now and I graduate with my masters, oh my God. The whole state of the to be bro. sick of me. Prepare. Yeah. I I have went to school for fifteen years for this graduation. Sixteen years. This was not a regular graduation. Yeah. They better be loud for me. That random white family better be better loud. be screaming. Amen. It's like who which was Desmond? I wanna him? Everybody I need Go the nigga, entire no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Hopefully, I'm famous by then. Then I could just get extra applause. Yeah, it would be dope. You know what I'm saying? It's an unfair advantage, but they'll be all right. I didn't have no. I it was, it was COVID. We drove in my car and honked so sad, and played bro. pull up. Why would they do that? When they pull up, let's be ready. Well, because when graduation was the peak of COVID, was when like yeah, it was like no graduation, bro. Bro, that we didn't even get handed the diploma. They had like like pick it up. It was the because it was May. That was when, like, nobody knew what was going on, mm-hmm. but everybody was getting sick and dying. <laughs> so I was like, dang, bro, they, we should just double it up in July. Because by July, we was like, okay, six feet, just wear your mask. But we was cool. During May, they was like, nothing. Nope. They don't know what it is. You don't even is. come outside. So I think, so, you know, my my uh, my uh principals, they was, like, anti-COVID. Or they didn't believe in it. Mm-hmm. So they was, just, like, breaking rules by even having it. Because I think at that time we were supposed to be, that was that time that you were only supposed to do with them. Like, it was during lockdown. It was like they said only family and friends. So we broke by even having anything. That's tough, bro. Yeah, at least they tried to give y'all some. One of these other schools, it was like new. Like so Maja school nothing. Maja school, they only had they had the entire gym and they just only had the admin team up st- up there on the stage. And then they had the um them in there. Like three people at a time. In there. In the entire gym. Or cafeteria. Ain't it was no just point. like a line. They was all like 12 feet apart. No, just mail me my stuff, bro. That's tough. Well, yeah, I feel bad for y'all. Yeah, it was crazy. Majas was, was better than mine, though. And yeah. they live streamed it. So, like, she got to walk. Okay. And she had a cap and gown. I had a cap and gown, too, but I didn't walk. We drove in the trunk. That's so tough, bro. Playing pull up. Best be ready. Mm. Anyway, I would hate that story now, bro. I would hate that song. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, it, it was all right. I didn't really care for graduation or nothing like that. Yeah. But now I think I'm I think I'm gonna cry at my graduation. You gonna cry? Probably. I can see it. It's been a long time, man. And I mm. hate school. So if I graduate I'm getting I deserve all my flowers. That's so like true. when I graduated, I deserve it. And people in there just they just go through school. Like, no, I deserved it because I don't like school. Like I'm fighting through it for, for personal reasons. Like I deserve all of my accolades. Yeah. So what you think of so what you think about him talking about some uh what what you wearing out in public? How you feel about bonnets in public? I like so look I'm, I'm i'm relinquishing control now because i i realized like it, it doesn't really matter like that but mm-hmm. it still looks messy bro yeah. it looks messy but i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna like you know trash you or not if you feel like that's what you're gonna do because i used to walk out the house with do rags on yeah so i can't even it's the same it's the same thing so but uh i agree with you i feel like it's raggedy looking i feel like funky. it's the epitome of ratchet and ghetto however I have failed to realize how often white people leave the house in pajamas. Uh, the Cookie Monster pajama girls? No, like white women, like grown women. Word. And then also, too, they leave the house. And there's something that Maja said. She's like, well, it's like they can get up and go because they sleep in their, in their little nightgown or they sleep in them, them leggings mm-hmm. that they have, them Lulus. They, that's, what they, that's how they're comfortable. They're in them Lulus or they have pajamas that they sleep in that – they can just get away with wearing mm. sweatpants and stuff. And they don't wear nothing on their head. A black girl, when they get up in their shorts and they bonnet and they just leave the house, now it looks ghetto. But it's like, why? Why do we equate bonnet with ghetto? It's because mm. black girls wear. I, so I do, I don't believe in just wearing out in public, but I do understand why it's kind of messed up. Because white girls do the same thing. They just don't wear nothing on their head to sleep. Yeah. And you know what? Ooh. Frick Ooh. that, bro. Why are men leaving the house in bonnets? 
Why are they making it a part of their outfit? That's different. That is different. That is a mess. I'm not even gonna lie. That used to be me too. They, I, I I fell victim to the I fell victim to it. But then I realized I don't have hair. You had you was even the house in a bonnet. I was even house in a bonnet. Only literally just because I didn't even sleep with it on. I just like put it on to leave the house like it was a hat because the fat. That is so stupid, bro. It's and crazy. they be in there macking on them girls at uh at Six Flags with get the bonnet. No, it is. It's the bonnet. It's the hoodie, it's the sweats, and it's the Jesus sandals combo. Bro, you're not hard. You're not hard. I'll take your chain. <laughs> These dudes, like, I don't that understand bonnet. that. I don't understand that man with bonnet thing. Yeah, I know. I think it's like the dude with the curls. They do this all the time. It's mm-hmm. them boys. But I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I maybe. think it's dudes who have nothing going for themselves. <laughs> Like I, I think just when you get the bonnet, the hoodie, backpack, walk like this, you just got nothing going for yourself. Like you play basketball, talk about some ballers life, but That's so you going, you're going a solid D three. Like <laughs> solid D three. Because I think about it, I don't think I ever met a person that wore a bonnet, a guy that wore a bonnet that I liked. Even me, yeah. I didn't even like myself when I was wearing a bonnet. To be real, I mean, I wear a bonnet to sleep. Uh, some of my Older men in my life were calling me gay for that, but it's it's I have an excuse. Yeah, your your big old head can't fit in no do rag, bro. You no, bust, no, no, no. You bust the seams. Do you? So do you wear? Uh, you didn't never wear a bonnet. No. You wear do at your sleep though. Yeah. Why? Because you're not even like dipping like that. I just don't dedicate my life to it. So why do you still wear the do rag? I don't. That's why I don't dedicate my life to it, bro. I don't really do it. I only you do, do it wear the do rag. I only do it when I get a haircut. Oh. But I, I feel like I don't do nothing. But I still do it because yeah, it, yeah. it no, feels no, no, like no. it's. A, I feel like I, ooh, I get the new cut. I'm like, oh, I gotta keep this thing going. Two weeks later, I'm like, yo, can you? Uh, it's like lint in my hair and bones. I'm like, yo, can so, you? So, I wear a bonnet to sleep. But my excuse is my autism be acting up. I do not like the feel. Just put that. Yep. I do not like the feel of my hair touching me. Are you sleeping? When I'm sleeping. I can feel it. I don't like sleeping on it, and so I wear a bonnet. Yeah. So my excuse is uh, mental disability. <laughs> so you have excuse. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. And so it's not even for like, so you put like oil and stuff in your hair before you go, or you're just like. Before I go to sleep, no. Uh, but I mean, uh, you know, I keep it up. People be, people be, people be tripping because I don't twist it. I don't mean it's dirty. I wash it a solid every two weeks. Mm-hmm. Maybe more than that. You no, not more it. than that. You think I it would look don't twist it. You think it would look good if you retwist it? I think it would look twisted. I, not a retwist. I think it would look like the standard. Mm. I think it would look like the standard. But I have no desire because I still be on people talking about some, oh, you got the J Cole, you got the Jay Z. No, they have the me. <laughs> I've been on this forever. Yeah. I had this this hairdo before Jay Z, J. Cole. Mm-hmm. And Kodak, and now everybody talk the weekend before all of them. Yeah. Now they talking about oh, you know, it's cool. Now I want my hair like yours. They were like, oh, you just copying. It was like, actually, he just kind of left his hair alone. Yeah, That's bro. How That's was. how I wanted it. I, I when I got locks, it was not like, oh, I'm just not gonna do my hair. I got these locks like this because I wanted them like this. When mm-hmm. I when I went in, I, I approached it like I wanted a low maintenance. That's how I wanted the look. Yeah. And I like. I just wish I could get it cut more on the sides, but I gotta find a new barber. Oh dang! What happened? Why? Okay, so my thing is that barber that I have, I won't say had, like still have. Yeah. I he's my favorite barber, but just schedules like he uh, just he's yeah. a working man. He's older now, so he mm. don't really need like I guess he be taking time off and stuff. I need you now. <laughs> yeah, when bro. I need you, I need to go now. Yeah, so we our barbers are in the same shop. Whenever I go in, I don't never see your barber, bro. He never there, bro. Like he's never older, and I guess barber. he take care of his family more now, and it's just. You know, I understand. He's my he's the only one I want cutting my hair though. Yeah. And so it's it's hard. It's a hard balance. Uh, the other guy that I had, he do decent, but it's just something different about them young guys. Them younger looks. You know, they be all oh, let me do this, Ruth. I don't want you to let me do that. <laughs> my dude, he give me the most basic cut. And guess what? Every time I get a cut, people be like, Oh, you got a cut. But when I go to any other barber, they don't notice. They don't notice. They don't notice. I mean, if they look, they can notice, but it's like that dude eat always, always yeah. they notice, and he just lines me up. Even if you don't give me a tape, they is just it's noticeable. He's just good. Yeah. He is really good, and so I don't trust him. So that's why if I move, bro, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I move out of state ever, like just like when I'm older, when he retires, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You can't get the move because if I need a last minute cut, I'm like, bro, I pay. You know what you need? You know you need some pizza on top. Like what you need? Because I need this. He's my go to. <laughs> you need some pizza too? I'll feed you. I need like, money. <laughs> like I mean, on top, I'm talking extra and a tip. Like because he's my bar, bro. I, I love his work. 
But yeah. Yeah. I feel you, bro. Anyway, so what's up with Christiana Rock? What she do? Oh Lord. First of all, she makes me they, mad because she looks like a man and her name is Chris Sean. She has two male names put together. That's so true. That's so true. I think she got like a the way they act, I think there's a little bit of mental disability. Maybe some autism. It ain't know. autism. Don't do us like that. Oh, word. Don't put her with us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put her on my team. Dang, I thought you would like to have a friend. Heck no, not her. Her name is Chris Sean. Why are we moving past that? <laughs> why Why is that just normal to us? No, it's crazy. She named her son Chris Sean. She, she knows it's not a name for her. She's aware that that name should not be hers. And I ain't never been a woman with a junior. That, hey, I'm honest with you. I have, though. You met a Kelly Jr. I met a I met a uh, if sub like that Elizabeth. But she wasn't Elizabeth the second, bro. Oh, I guess. Hey, oh my god, Elizabeth the second. Because I'm just thinking like, dang, and like the woman that had the kid, like she was kind of like a, a strong, independent, oh, like yeah, overpowered yeah. woman. Like, like there was a story. Was rumors, she gay? No, no, she was. She had a husband, but oh, she was, was just dumb. dumb. But listen though, there was rumors around the church that she beat <laughs> her husband, and that's why they got divorced. Okay. We, we can't confirm it nor deny it, but I have a story, even though we're <sighs> off topic, but I want to tell my story. She got a junior. I knew I knew a woman who, I don't know how to tell the story, but I'm going to say it because she was mean. I knew a woman that was in an abusive relationship, and she tried to abuse me because her husband beat her. She would come in with attitude every day, and, and she would just always look back at her husband in fear, but then she would look at me and say mean words to me in the church. So you know what? I'm going to leave that at that. Y'all know how I feel about her. I don't have to say it, but I am implying it. You got to go home and get beat up. You take it out on me. And you know what? I could have helped her. We, she should have just told me, you know, hey, my husband beats me. So I take it out on you. Then I would have said, let's go beat him. Let's, let me get you out of that house. Let me help you. And it's a church. It was a smaller church. We would have took care of her. We would have we came together, made sure she got a place to stay. All of that. But you know what? You would have come take it out on me. My cousin, the drummer, he was slow. He had, now him, he was slow. Dang. And you want to be mean to him? That's tough. He told me, he said, this is Dad's. I, I used to not know how to play keys. Then one day I went to sleep. And I woke up and I just could play keys. Then he started to just play it. And I was like, no, you can't. <laughs> he was slow. You're going to be mean to him. He told me. I swear on everything. I swear on everything, bro. The day the dude from... Who died? Was it Will of Fortune? Uh, Bob Barker. Or Jeopardy? Bob Barker. No. The dude that died. And it was huge. All I know is Bob Barker. What is the other guy's name? I don't know. Who died? It was Jeopardy or Will of Fortune. Mm. And they cut it. Okay. I got to, for the story, I got to say the name. Jeopardy host. Mm. Okay, no. So it was Will of Fortune. Alex. Ryan Seagrass. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess he's a new host. Bro, who's Alex? I don't know. Alex host died. Alex, Alex Trebek. 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 Oh, yeah, it was Alex Trebek. Oh, uh, okay. Who are you talking about, Bob Barker? That's the uh, Je not Jeopardy. Um, what's it? What's that one? Colorful game. It's like the spin the wheel in the morning. Uh, dang, what is it? Price is right. Yeah, Price is right. The morning one. I guess so. It is. Why did you say no? God no. Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune at night. Bro, I, what, Price what? is right and Deal or No Deal. I mean, not Deal or No Deal. The the. <laughs> I need you to tell it me. It is not Price is Right. Price is Right is another oh, this. I need you to tell me this. When is the last time you think I had cable? Come on now. I see clips on YouTube and TikTok, bro. <laughs> okay, anyway, so let me tell the story. So this was this was my drummer. I almost said his name too. This is my drummer, bro. I swear on everything. The day Alex Trebek died, the host of Jeopardy, the day he died, bro was late to church, okay? Bro, the pastor pulled me. I was a minister of music. The pastor pulled me and the drummer side, like, why were you late? Like, bro was like 15 minutes late. To the start of service, let alone to like the rehearsal, the the you know the call mm -hmm. time. He was 15 minutes late in start of service. He got in there and said, he said, you know, man, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, a lot of people was just pulling me aside, giving me calls, just like checking in on me, like you know, like what happened? Like, are you okay? He was like, you know, Alex Trebek died, and they know me. They like, yo, I know you in the industry. You know, how's that affected you? <laughs> I 
in front of everything. Bro was late to church and said that to me. <laughs> and the pastor to our faces said, I was late. Because the host of Jeopardy died. And a lot of people was just checking on me. It just got me caught up. And the pastor didn't know who that was. What do you mean? He said the pastor didn't know who it was, so he's asking you, like. No, we both knew what he was talking about. We both knew he was talking about the, the death oh of the God. Jeopardy host. Did he have, and, a, did he have a job after? <laughs> I mean, I think at that point, when somebody's that slow, you just ignore it. We just was like, oh, okay, you know, sorry for your loss. <laughs> we just let it go. Like, we was just, what are you supposed to say? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I would be like, dang. Like, imagine <laughs> just somebody tell you that straightforward. I feel like if we let him go, he might have killed himself or something. Like, something, bro. Bro had something wrong. You just wouldn't understand. Alex Trebek died. I feel like, bro, we're just looking for an excuse. He was like, they probably definitely don't know who Alex Trebek is. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get no, off this one. No, no, no. It was big the day he died. And, <sighs> the bro, he was walking around the church. He was like, you know, Alex died. And, man, I mean, it hit me hard. But, you know, he was he was a game changer. Bro was walking around starting a conversation about Alex Trebek in the church. <laughs> So, so yeah. was he at least a good drummer? Nah. <laughs> he could keep a good beat though. So we in like praise break mode, right? We doing the hit, uh. you know, you're supposed to go boom, boom, right? So I'm just doing it. And I don't I don't engage with him. I told him to stop playing. Here going the pastor, this narcissistic pastor. He just he don't know how to stay in his place. Pastor like telling the drummer, like, come on, like match match jazz. And then I'm dumb, you know what I'm saying? In praise break mode, dumb. Even when you back at the preacher, dumb. And then here goes Steve. Over me, I swear on everything, bro. That was some stories in there. There were some stories in that church. Ain't no way this drummer was like this, bro. Ain't I no swear, way. bro. I don't know what was going on with him. He was like, it's not like he was on his phone and they just came in playing. He was like, watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh me. Oh. <laughs> That's only what he knew. Do. Anyway, back to Pastor That's Sean. Tough. All yeah, right, Chris that we Sean. should do that. So basically, she had her baby. Maybe she had two gay dads, and their names were Chris and Sean. She just put them together. Yeah, that's the only excuse I have for her. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> but uh, so Chris Sean and the gay baby. She go has no, not the gay baby. Oh, it's a regular baby. Oh, regular baby. Yeah, regular regular baby. Baby. I love regular baby. So <laughs> <laughs> she has a baby on IG Live, which is crazy. I Pause. Mean. Wait, what? What do you mean? Like the baby's there, or like she's just there with the baby, or you talk about she's. Like actively, giving the baby, she's delivering the baby, delivering this child to the world. Hey you two, oh, no, ah! hey y'all, thanks for the likes. Ah! I'm punching, hey, but, but just imagine she's doing like an AI stream. But <laughs> <laughs> <having a> baby, <laughs> I feel so good. Ah! Get out my face, yum yum. I ride it all night. Ah! Ah! Thanks for the three roses. Yum yum yum. yum, yum, yum. Ah! Glizzy, glizzy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. But that's crazy. But what I think is even more crazier about that is the person that got her pregnant, Blueface, was in a whole different place when Where it happened. He, he was partying with his, I think his other baby mama. Was he alive too? Uh, no, he was alive. Oh. But he was at a party with his other baby mama though. Oh, I mean, if you got game, you got game. <sighs> right, bro. Game is game. I don't know. But that's tough though. So do you feel like like you're saying he should have been there? He definitely should have been there. So my know. here's my question, and I just I don't want to take too strong of an opinion because I don't want to be in a situation. I won't be in a situation. <laughs> but if I were in a situation, I don't know that I would have been there either. Mm -hmm. They need to not be in the same room as each other. <laughs> they need to put that baby up for adoption, <sighs> and and like have no ties. Like when you're that toxic, that baby was is better off with some random white family. Yeah. That wants to name him an authentic African name and give him a, a, a nice black life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ubuntu. <laughs> like <laughs> watching YouTube tutorials on how to do black hair. That's what they they that they, that baby need to be somewhere like that. Mm. Cause this their relationship, bro. There's no way I don't I, I don't care I don't care who he's with on any given weekend. That baby is not gonna be able to have a like be raised yeah, correctly. No, there's beatings, there's leaked sex tapes and all like, this other stuff. It's so much going on. Bro, bro made a diss track on his baby mama and made all of the video vixens pregnant. First of all, where did he find 12 women that are willing to pimp themselves out in the third trimester? That's tough. What's going on with the women is what I want to know. That's big tough. Bro was able to find 12 women that is ready to pop and still like, but I can still shake it. That's tough. 
So at first, first of all, I'm on the women's head because why would y'all just submit yourself to that? But then, bro was just comfortable knowing you have a child coming into this world in the next three months and dropping that. You have three months to clean your Twitter up and clean your past up, and you are making it deeper. <sighs> hey, you remember what Ricky Smiley said about decorum and listen? You know? Tap Krishan at the bottom of that one and Blueface. <laughs> But I feel like at some point we have to admit that women are held to a, to a higher standard. And it's kind of messed up, but I think we just gave up on men, which is wrong. It's wrong. But is it ill founded? No, the way we reacted for Men is just. Boys are dumb. <laughs> boys are dumb. And I think at the end of the day, like the child is like born with the mother. So if we. Even if. Let's take this situation. It's not, it's not to make an excuse for men, but in this situation. Krishan had no choice but to be there for the birth of the child. Yeah. So we had to put effort into making one of them act right. Why would he be blue face? Yeah. Why would we be putting effort into making him act right? That's true. Let him do what he gonna do. So that's why I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to condone him not being at the birth of his child. I'm not trying to condone him, like, not being involved in her life. But at the end of the day, every time he is involved, they they both are, are failures almost. Yeah. But it's like we gotta we gotta put effort into one of them. Might as well be the woman. Yeah, Krishan got to Krishan got to get her life together. Get together and so man. also too, like, um, just to tell the tooth, um, like why she didn't? I just caught that. <laughs> if she did, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way, I'm just bro. trying to tell the tooth. <laughs> I, I had to catch it. I had to catch. It. I was like, oh, he's probably just being funny. No, nah, he's being mean. <laughs> why is she? Why are you? If you got that much money, she need to get her bag and fix her teeth. Yeah. So we can't mess with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, that'd be the first thing I'd fix, bro. That doesn't bother you to watch her? I she could have delivered. She could have delivered the baby through that. <laughs> that gap's so big. The baby would have came right out. It would have slipped right out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She eats carrots with her mouth closed. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's a shredder. <laughs> The like, logs. That's yeah, crazy. Bro. I don't know. I, but pray for that baby, though. You know, I wonder what it's going to be like for him to, like, grow up and then, like, wow, my parents are famous. He, like, has that realization, like, mm-hmm. looks up old clips of them, and then he sees a video of his his mom crying over him. It's like, I know it's the third trimester, but can I still get an abortion? Yeah. I'd have been like, yo, hey. Oh. I feel like that's how Woe Vicky ended up the way she is. Word. She had parents like that. Yeah. But well, Vicky saved, so they're she's still saved now. They're still, you know, say so she go to Mike Todd Church, so it's like, how saved is she? Sorry, Mike Todd. <laughs> Oof, that's, <laughs> that's tough. Not sorry. Anyway, yeah, that's tough. You know, how saved is she? She go to Mike Todd Church, but yeah. she's she there. Well, she's she, trying. Yeah, so she started Christian. You better. Like, she's like, better than she was. That's all that matters. That's all God made. looks for. Shaba, bro. We get Danielle Bergoli. Oh, we, nah, she can stay where she. That's right. <laughs> Jesus go give us a gift or something, Yo, bro. Yo, Daniel Ber- Bergoli, I don't know. That's a lost cause. <sighs> hey, did you watch her Snapchat stories when she did this show? No. I watched every episode. They need to bring that back in our little Snapchat, bro. What was it? She just had a Snapchat show. It just followed her life. Oh. It was like wow. a reality TV show. And it was her arguing every five seconds and then giving a camera interview. I watched every, bro. I just you don't. Snapchat thought I was a 14-year-old girl. I was there every morning, woke up 6 a.m. But Daniel Pearl. I'm talking in my bed with my bonnet on. <laughs> Watch it there, yo. Catch me outside. This is my show on how I live my life. Stay tuned. And then they go into the to the show. It got ads in there. I'm watching the ads oh all the way through, bro. Gosh. You didn't watch it? I didn't even know that was a thing, bro. Bring that back, boy. I Snapchat right on my phone right now. That's tough. That's yeah. That was my business right there. She probably gonna end up in like a, a hip hop of uh, was it hip hop wise of Atlanta or whatever the freak was. I, that's that that whole fad is dying. Really, you think so, bro? Yes, because we want to see we want to see more stuff like the uh, like vlogging. Speed shows his whole life. Yeah, they, we want to see that, and I don't know that Daniel's built for that, but we want to see there. That's what the, that's the future. The whole life, we don't need to see the edited, the faking, like the Kardashians, bro. That whole show is like the longest running where people are watching the same characters. Mm-hmm. That's once that's done, I think that's the last one. There's yeah. not going to be any new ones that are going to come up like that. It's going to be streaming, and then we're going to watch the 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 next generation of rappers like Cardi B could do it. We yeah. don't wanna, we don't want to see Cardi B getting like. You know, with cuts, with faking it, with giving an interview, with like, okay, when well you go in here, overdo it. Because Cardi B has enough energy and enough personality to do it Disney on the live stream. Yeah. And psh, yes. Oof. Between her and Offset, are they still together? I think so. Yeah. Offset. Woo, 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 woo. 
He need to turn the radio off. Who? 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 Mute his mic. Who? 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 You like Migos? Well, uh, I don't know about Migos. It's just, you know, Mig. The brothers. <laughs> it's just Mig. Dang, bro. Mig is mid. Yeah, I feel it. I was going to make a, um, I had a point to make, but then I forgot it. So we could just transition to the next topic. We could just transition to the next I had a point, one. and I'm, I was trying to like, Fill up time until I figured out what it was. It's all right. When you figure it out, you'll figure it out. But it staying was, on the same it topic, it was one hundred percent relevant to Chris, to Krishan. All right. When we get to deep end, you can add it in there, baby. She but had uh, in her mouth. Yeah. I said that. I don't know who this is opening the door. Like we came upstairs, so they wouldn't bother us yet. They're still bothering us. Yeah, look, wait, Jeremiah ankles. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Hey, Bob, you want to come tell your profound line that you made up today? She thought she made a survey. She made a survey. Mm-hmm. You want to go tell him? All right, guys. My mama thinks that she's a pastor, so she made this little sermon for everybody. Excuse my hair. Stop whispering. Oh. Excuse my hair. Where do I look? Right there? Yeah. Excuse my hair. It's not done. Just say the sermon. Oh. You, you so focused on one that you never see none. Explain it, Pastor. Dang. So, you know how supervisors be just so focused on getting one person, like, or anybody, that they forget the whole picture. Did you forget your job was everybody? So you so focused on one that you missed and never see none. You eating cucumbers? Now what? No juice. Now wait until you see the picture. Oof, you need to go walk down the stairs a couple more times because are you out of breath? <laughs> still. You got up this breath three three <laughs> minutes ago. You still breathing. Go do a couple more reps. No, <laughs> okay. Well, keep it to the minimal. <laughs> I believe that. I think I want to go make a make a business now. Yeah, she was preaching hot. Hey, bro. Why are there Please. On the floor? You guys just destroyed my baby. Nobody destroyed her room. Those push pins. Like, you gotta fix her room back. Those push pins was already there. My child is only on vacation. Can you get out, though? Why is my child cooked? Why is the kitchen a mess? I thought mine was clean and you cooked. Food ain't done, and the kitchen's still a mess. It's. It's. I've been up here. How about you get in there and cook it then? What was the last time you cooked? I'm not, but I'm about to go cook them, them steaks on the grill. Then go do that that you've been saying since I bought the grill and ain't did it yet. I'm right when I buy that grill? July? No. Yes, I bought it before I went to Africa. June so June, that's you making it worse. What was my point, bro? Because I had a good one and it was right with Christiana. I was going to make a joke. But whatever, we can move on. Yeah, I don't know. But speaking on other internet personalities that are getting... A lot of attention for crazy acts are happening. It Steve crazy. Harvey. Was terrible, bro. You got to be quiet and let me cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Dang. Steve Harvey got mad at his social media director because she put out some crazy stuff that he would never say in real life. What was it? It was basically, she was trying to, in her words, get the interactions up, right? Try to mm-hmm. get the interaction post. So she goes on. This the member Steve Harvey. He's in his motivational on his motivational kick, mm-hmm. right? He's on this. I want everybody to be successful. I love everybody. Everybody can make it. And then mm-hmm. you know he say some lies that are crazy about you know God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, she goes on, or he. I don't know what it is, but they go on, mm-hmm. and they make a post talking about some who is what is it? Uh, who's the least favorite rapper? Or no, no, who's, who's your who is the least funny comedian? Who was the least funniest comedian? So, Steve Harvey get that. He had none of that, bro. He had zero of that. He goes on. Uh, uh, I think he was TikTok. I think mm-hmm. I saw it on TikTok. He was on the TikTok. Yeah, he, he got on TikTok, and he just let her have it. Hey, y'all. Uh, yeah. I don't even be doing these apology things like this for real. But I had to come on here and, and set something straight. 
I hey. would never say nothing like that. That was stupid. It was mess. She not even employed no more. So let's get this out the way. I would never say nothing like this. So I'm going to go ahead and say my apologies, even though I didn't do nothing. So he just started passing the book like crazy. And I feel him. Steve Harvey is hilarious. Bro. Not on stage at all. <laughs> so, hater. you know, to answer her question, which was a great question, Steve Harvey is the answer. <laughs> and I just want to know, what did the comments say? <sighs> because to be honest, who is the least funny comedian is not really that bad of a question unless the comments said Cedric or Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Because if they said Steve, we know why his feelings was hurt. <laughs> they said said, then I feel like it's because they really put each other on. Like, you know, they were they, they best friends, whatever. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's some friendly game. What's wrong? What's a friendly competition? Nah, you only because he, he was in his he was in his motivational kick. You can't be like, I think everybody can make it. Everybody needs to work hard to get to where they at. And then you feel me on your social media talking about something. Like, this who, guy like, sucks. Hey, let's hate, guys. Let's hate. Let's, let's, let's hate by everybody. Hate. So I don't know about firing them. Mm. Firing well, them ain't a little far. I don't know. If they didn't know the brand, it was obvious what the brand was. Hey, Tom, you post some crazy stuff, bro. I do post some crazy stuff, but on my stuff, though. You didn't, no, nah, you didn't even bleep when we was talking about some, I'm going to rape you. You didn't even bleep it. Well, 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 let's 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 slow it down. Let's slow it down because we were also talking about gay people. All right. So I'm just thinking that those are the same thing. Rape and gay? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have said that. This is what I mean. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Bro said rape and gay is in the same vein. But look, 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 look. I, I just I just thought it was funny. So that's what I'm saying. So you but just missed it I didn't know and then I corrected it. I know, but now we're still learning the vision. No, but in the same token, wait, I wait. don't know. Learn of the vision. No, vision been the same. What? Maybe you're still learning. I will and still understand. Well, relax, relax. And so that's my point, though. But look, though, we we had we had a uh, deep fry podcast. <laughs> that was a part of the vision at some point. That was when I was 17. But listen, we still we still kind of be making them jokes a little bit. So I was kind of like, okay, this should be fine. But now I know. I bleep it out now, and I get you it now. Tripping. So if they were new, so that's what it's not about. They were new. Thomas, you've been rocking with me for like four years. <laughs> what? I'm not doing this professionally. Look, you look. think that's the okay? That's the caveat to just, you're saying you I that think, she's a professional. I think. Well, I don't know if she is or not, but I'm just making excuses for myself. I forget her. I'm saying that the all oh, it's the same thing, but I'm saying you don't think you deserve to get fired. No. Nah. Exactly. That's my point. So well, why she did not, she? She not me. <laughs> I don't care about her. Bro, Steve was like, hey, she go. And I'm like, whoa, 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 Steve. We done, we didn't advocate for that. Like, <laughs> it, the post wasn't that bad. Yeah. She wasn't out here, like, making rape accusations or nothing like that. Like, crazy, bro. that's bad. Or, or taking an opinion about, you know, a, a controversial topic like gay people or trans or something like that. Like, that's crazy because you're, you're speaking for me. But yeah. just making a comment, it's like, Okay, I think of like D.L. Hewley. Do we think that he makes his posts? Probably not. I think that he gets on there every once in a while and does like when he does say some crazy political stuff. Mm -hmm. That's him. But like when he just posts the memes and stuff, it's like if the meme is a little controversial, it's like who's looking that deep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe just my thoughts though. Steve, we love you, but you was OD. Also, I don't like that Steve went to Ghana and was talking about some get educated. Y'all don't know what they did. Look at here. This is what they did to us. What you mean? Ghana was Ghana was like one of the only of the five countries that sold us. Out of all the countries you could have went to talk about some look at what they did to us. You went to Ghana? What you mean they did they, they was the day? They it was them. They was they. That's tough. You could have went to all these countries that got ransacked and all of this stuff. But talk about some they had to walk through these doors. Who built the doors? Them? They had to sit on these ships. And, and Ghana the, the king built it. They funded that mess. That's tough. Bro had a billion countries to go to. It went to that one. Talk about yeah. so look at how look at what we suffered. Made it in, it's embarrassing, bro. That's why them that's why them white folks can take us serious now. Cause you can't even do the research. Come on, Steve. Oof. Wearing that dashiki. They didn't even wear that in Ghana. He was wearing that dashiki. Is that what they wear in Ghana? Bro did like minimal <laughs> And he been, my thing is he been to Africa how many times? That's embarrassing tough. and then and then i don't like that people people take that kind of stuff as an excuse to be like this is you know we can't listen to him he don't know i do believe that every black person should go to africa before they die i believe that steve is not helping my point because <laughs> they think we on the same team and we think the same way and that's just not it like yeah. bro went to ghana that's tough now they go think i'm an anti-ghana ghanian i'm not anti-ghanian i'm just like 
anti miseducation. Yeah, that's like going to Nigeria and being like, "Oh, I'm pro black." They're not even pro black. <laughs> they don't like us. What are you talking about? That's so true. Sorry, Nigerians, but y'all need to stop messing with the white women. <laughs> y'all always mess with the white women. Anyway, uh, tough, 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 tough. All right. And no, I'm just uh, <laughs> I was like, "Dang, bro." No, nah, the Nigerians be messing. They mess me up, bro. Yeah. Nigerians really do mess me up. I feel you. Because they get over here and they just act like they are. They do everything in their powers and not be considered one of us. I like, I don't know how many of you met. I'm not black, I'm brown. Okay, well, I'm brown too then. They're like, no, well, I'm, I'm white. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am white. You know? Switch it up. They be like, oh, so you have black women over here. I thought it was different. I, I was looking for somebody with a, that talks like this. That's what they want. Every time, they're always with them white, them Caucasians. Yeah. And they go to Canada and make a, a blended family. Mm, that's different. My son is too dark. He must breathe with a white woman. That's what they say. How many Nigerians you know? I don't know that many. They a mess. I mean, there's a few that's out there like real cool, but then I'm just my theory is just that they always date light skins. And there's like two Nigerians that I know, like celebrities that are like real, real pro black, but their woman is like super, super light skin. But I'm not gonna like be colorist mm. though, so that's why I don't really say like I don't want to be colorist, so I leave that be. But yeah, bro, most Nigerians, especially the, the Christian Nigerians, oh God, the Nigerians in in the church. Okay, I guarantee the majority of the black people at Central, if they're African, they're Nigerian, and right. they were a white woman. Just observe it. Just observe <sighs> it. I ain't never even seen it, but I could put money on it blindly. You going to church Sunday? Yeah. Take note. I have never seen or observed it, and I'm blindly saying that. You can come back next week and say whether I'm right or wrong. Right, and if I'm wrong, there, I'll take it. There is a black dude there that his wife is milk and magnesia, bro. And is he I don't Nigerian? Know, I don't think so because he's very, okay. Yeah, so bro. ask if they if they don't have an accent, ask if they know where their family's from. Okay. okay. Even if they're like young, you know, like 17, just be like, you know, what's your dad? Like, where's your dad from? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's my theory. You can come back next week. If I'm wrong, say that I'll admit that I'm wrong. Okay, okay. I'll okay. admit that I'm wrong about Central, not the whole video. <laughs> but I'll take it, and that'll be a good, uh, you know. Hangover till the next week. So, okay. so take note. All right, all right, all right. But anyway. But listen now. Yeah, yeah I'm listening. We're gonna we're gonna keep moving on mm-hmm. with other other black uh controversial figures. Mm-hmm. Obama. Obama. The controversial My figure. Man. The black man. My man. Well, that's probably what he said when he got with a man. Cause Pause. there's some rumors. Actually, there's a whole interview with this dude that says back in the eighties that Obama was not only gay. It was at gay clubs, but he was also smoking crack. Crack? They gave him the Dave Chappelle treatment, bro. He said, he said, we was in a club, and I put my hand on his thigh. He put a hand on my thigh, and we got the pipe and started smoking, and everything started going the way I wanted to go. And I was like, oh, why are they going so hard against Obama right quick? Bro, bro, what is Obama doing? Yeah, what is Obama doing? And what's wrong with smoking a little crack? You know what I'm saying? Every time I smoke crack, I get a little gay, too. Huh. A, <laughs> I'm just like so die out for Obama. I just be lying. I just don't come for Obama like that, bro. That's crazy. So right, let me pull up, let me pull up some of this interview, bro. So how has specific. how credible is this man? I'm going to say not at all. I would say probably like where's the proof? But then again, they did pick up letters that Obama they said Obama wrote to an ex girlfriend talking about how he makes love with men, but only in his mind. That was like a quote from one of the letters that they say that it was a. Uh, you know what's so was. ill about this? I feel like I want I want to wait till the end of the topic to say this, but um, I don't know how to like. I don't know. If, I don't want to forget. All right, want to watch clip? Yeah.
Oh, shut up. Don't try to act like you're anti-media gay man. Didn't we just agree that the media pushes the gay agenda? I thought that was the vibe. I Tucker Carlson ought to get on somewhere. And he, I don't know how he even fe- feels like he has the, the, the right to get on Tucker Carlson, who's anti-anything to do with men on men, and sit there and feel like your story is getting shared. Bro offered a bag, and he took it. Mm-hmm. Be honest. And bro got that Tucker Carlson bag, and what about some Tucker Carlson crack? You get on somewhere. Yeah, because I'm going to be real with you. How credible is this man who admits to smoking crack back in the 80s? And like, bro, bro probably met a man that kind of looked like Barack Obama. <laughs> on t- on Tucker Carlson. This is so goofy, bro. How does that even make sense? I bro, just, like crack. Well, I'll say anything you want me to say. Yeah, like, easy. And then also, Barack, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I? Oh, you better give his take. Because I got some thoughts. I always thought Michelle was a little... I always thought she was a little strong looking. Oh, yeah. I always thought she was a little... You know... <sighs> I did. I did. I did. You know, there's uh, there's rumors that, that you can't find a, pi- a picture of a pregnant Michelle Obama on the internet. Well, why would you be able to? She they she wasn't uh, she was a man. but <laughs> I mean I get your I, I get your rumors I get but it's also like Who she knows? wasn't they weren't super in the um mm-hmm. in the media like Brock was in the media but she wasn't and also the time True. it wasn't like that where you have a, enough time to be taking pictures of a wife too she was just a regular lawyer True but you don't think like they maybe took like you know Polaroids and stuff for the baby books Yes yeah, at the crib Yeah but she never released it I wonder why. I wonder why too. I wonder why. You know what I'm saying? They just want everybody to just be out here showing their body. Yeah. They think we're supposed to just be new like Melania. But here's here's the thing though, there was a cl- <laughs> <laughs> there was a <laughs> there was a clip of Barack Obama in his speech <clears throat> accidentally calling her Michael. No way! <laughs> because you know what, bro? I'm telling you, I don't want to be that guy because I I would love to be Michelle. I really would. I would love to be Obama. Mm-hmm. I think politics aside, they are Obama's very intelligent. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen him talk, just talking about regular stuff. Like, he seems like a guy that I would want to learn from, 1,000%. Mm. But Michelle, she always did strike me as the um, WWE type. <laughs> she did. She always, she did. She struck me as There's linebacker. No way, bro. Like, definitely really? safety. For sure, for sure, actually. I never got that. You never got it? I never got Ronda that. Ronda Rousey vibes? Because I thought Ronda Rousey it. was trans. You did. With that I throat. did. I really did. That throat. And Michelle, she got that stature. Yeah, I gotta see. It. She's oh, just man. like, mmm. Oh, you know? Oh, no, I gotta see. But it, she's bro. very intelligent too. She's very, very intelligent too. Have you ever Michelle, seen their their relationship stuff? Uh uh-uh. uh. She does a she she I won't say a lot, but she like talked she was on the talk. She hit like answered relationship questions and I was like, Oh my god, she's a good wife. Mm-hmm. At least by what she talked, but you can't look, that's a little that's it's you know what I'm saying? You're talking about America's black family, bro. I love them. I do. But I'm just trying to play the I'm trying to play devil. I was Devil's joking. Advocate. I was joking. I was kidding. I was kidding. I, 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 I don't know. Really. Why do I always do that? Can I coin that? Can I trademark a thing? Can you? Because I always do that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy for them thinking that she a man, bro. But can't I trademark that, though? Answer me. No, you can't trademark that. I want I want to get paid as much as I I don't. Believe, I want to get paid. I don't believe you can trademark an automatopoeia, bro. That's I made it a, up though. Did you? I did. After in the in the way you do it. Stop I it. made that up. Stop I invented it. that during COVID. Yeah, I bet you did. I probably have videos of me doing it back then. Don't be a liar, bro. I I swear on everything. I probably have videos. Liar. Shut up and look at Michelle. Uh, there's this picture. With Michael Obama. Oh, look at her chubby cheeks. She's so chubby, bro. Oh, I love them. Look, like she had a stroke, though. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so my thing is here's my here's my concern is who's watching that video because I want to know what Mr. Tucker. What Mr. What Senior Carlson gained from doing that video? Yeah, because who cares if Obama was gay? Well, clicks. It's so true. 
But that's my thing is like, let's say he comes out as like, yeah, I'm gay. I'm bi. Then what? Like, then, then what? Then we're going to say Obama bi. That's going to be the headline for a week. And nobody's going to care. Yeah. Maybe they'll care because we'll have, a, have had a gay president. Yeah. That don't have changed the world. That would be. But you like now we're just like milking that story. It's just like, but ultimately, who cares? And if you care, Mr. Republicans, if you care, then you're just as bad as the gay people. You're doing what you what you mad at them for doing. You j- trying to push your thoughts on other people. Like we don't care. I I'm, I don't know about you, but I don't care what a man does or doesn't do in his bedroom. Do you care? No. Do you care if he spread or if he don't spread? No. I will say that I did have a, during his conversation. I I gotta say I was wondering if Obama was top or bottom. I that uh, crossed my mind. Did that cross your mind? Mine neither. It didn't cross my mind either. I was just joking. I'm I want to see testing the waters there. Can we please not do this. I move on. I see. I see the vibe. <laughs> but as I was saying, other than that though, top or bottom, Obama. <sighs> it's Obama, do you? Anyway, I don't really care what he does. And so my thing is just like, what's the point of this video? Like, yeah. So you mean to tell me? That Obama snorted crack, yo, Obama snorted crack, like snorted it, like snorted it. Wow. Anyway, that's a wrap for right, today, guys. Like, like, we out. <laughs> like, there, like, there really is nothing. Like I feel like they think like, well, Obama's running the country behind closed doors because oh, Biden really can't really do anything. It's like, well, yeah, sure, but like. Most people don't believe that. Yeah, and nobody cares anyway because, like, Obama's not getting reelected. So is it that they think that making Obama, like, slandering Obama's name will help Biden not get reelected? <sighs> is that what it is? Maybe. Because other than that, which is already a far stretch, <laughs> like, yo, Obama is gay. Let's not vote for Biden. Like, nobody who voted for Biden is caring <laughs> what Obama is doing. That's so true. And if what Obama does affects who, how you vote for another person, you're already not, you, you need to just not vote at all. Yeah. <laughs> just period. But other than that, I don't know. Because, like, Obama is not running again. That's so true. It's like, is his endorsement going to mean less when he goes out and be like, yo, we're for Biden? Is his endorsement going to mean less because he's gay? I don't like. Does I think his endorsement mean more? I think. I think at the end of the day, does, does his endorsement even mean anything for a second term? Like it's a second true. term. What is, bro? We don't need nobody to double up Biden. We seen what he did, and if you liked it, you liked it. If you did it, you did it. It doesn't matter what your cousin say. You true. seen it. You had an example. <laughs> so like, that's why I believe in second terms. Like second terms, bro. It's like you can. This can't be. Actually, I don't. I take that back. Cause people are dumb. But I think for the most part, generally speaking, whether or not you get a second term is just is like the 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 biggest dictation of how you did an office. That's very true. Because we seen it with our own eyes. We no, lived like, through it. You know, I'm saying. Some gas prices. Yeah. So we he, saw them eggs. If 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 Obama, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them eggs, bro. I bro, saw the eggs on Biden. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. And then I'm never not gonna talk about that. What I just I just don't get how people keep blaming gas prices on Biden. That's so funny. People make the most roundabout excuses about what he did with the oil prices mm-hmm. in Syria and how it connected to the. So anyway, back to demand, supply and demand, mm-hmm. the basis of the economy. <sighs> Lord, Lord, Lord. But you know, shout out Obama though. You're the first black gay president. First black gay president. Who also did crack. But what if he just wasn't gay, though? Like, what if he was just high? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Is that not reason? Is Am I tripping? Is yeah. that, like, did that not cross nobody's mind? Mm-hmm. Mm. What if, what if being high makes you gay? <laughs> they went, right? I mean... <laughs> That's the only way to know. I'm good for Obama, hey, Thomas. That would be crazy if every gay person we knew just did crack. They would just high. They would just did crack, bro. It just wouldn't make sense because why would they not be straight when they came off the high? Like Obama. It's just the effects. And it's like the side effects. Like that's probably why he like never mind. He probably only did it a couple times, so it didn't like make an imprint. That was probably the only time he did it. Just smoked the crack right then. And then he did the gay stuff, and then he like woke up and was like, "Oh, this story didn't even make sense." My crotch itch. Like, bro, got in the car, went straight to it. Yeah. Bro was like, "Yo, I'm Barack Obama." 
You know, the story didn't make sense. He was like, so there was a man introduced to me, Barack Obama. He got in my car. He stored a crack. Or I, I got a line. And then he had a pipe. And then he, I put my hand on his thigh. And then we went to the business. Just like that? Ray Winter down. I am uh, Barack, uh, uh, Barack Obama. And uh, I would like to uh, get in there and uh, do some crack. <laughs> get in, Mr. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Mr. President. He's like, bro, come on now. So yeah, was he no. senator at that time? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was in college. This is scary. Around that time. In college? You know what? A <laughs> man can't be gay in college. Even in that movie. Mm-hmm. The, did you see the movie where he was in college? No. That walk was a little fruity. The actor's walk? <laughs> <laughs> he was method acting. I think he was method acting. Yeah, bro, he was looking at videos of Odo Obama. He was like, all right. It was a little fruity. Mm. It was a little fruitcake. He's so funny, bro. So, um... Just this mic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking, like, bro, like he has two adult daughters. So now they're just like on Twitter. Everybody's called their dad gay. <laughs> they're like, yo, they're like, yo, pause. That's all pause. Tell my dad gay, bro. It's like Malia. Is it? Is yeah, your dad? I don't know how to say this, but like. <laughs> Oh my! God. No, he's not. Steven. He's not. Stop listening to that propaganda. He's like, Dad. I just imagine a gay friend asking. He's like, asking for a friend, but is your dad? You is know, your dad really? Is he gay? really? Because Cause America's it, butt was looking good, 2008 to 2016. No, Tyler. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> my dad. I just he's need like, to know how he's handling it, bro. I know. Either, how he's holding up over there. <laughs> you know, Bob was doing, bro. He's like, either like, oh God, they know, they know, or he's like. Yo, you're like yo, boss. I just I like, know he's gonna buy me act like a like a regular black man. It's like yo, what the hell? You like, call me gay? I ain't never what? I have three daughters. Bro didn't even say pause. I got my socks on too. What is dude talking about? I just imagined. He's like, I literally said pause. He touched my thigh. And I said pause. Why are you talking about this now? Thirty years later. Oh, whoa! I said no homo. I literally said no homo. My socks was on the whole time. What is this? In every position, my socks was on. Everyone. And no. bro goes out gay. Bro, what? pause. Come on now, cause this is propaganda. Anyway, yeah, now that's over. You want to see my woe? <laughs> drone strike. His what do you say? He's like uh, anyway, you want to see my red, red gate? That's what he said. What was that line that he said, Obama? Anyway, I don't know about that one. Now that that's over, you want to see my renegade? Yes, he did say that. I don't remember that one. That's a good meme. You don't know that meme? Hold on, bro. I gotta see. You Obama hater. Obama renegade. I gotta see this. Oh my god, that was like top tier meme in COVID. Anyway, he did like the whole thing. He's like, anyway, now this is over. You want to see my renegade? I no longer love blue that's skies. a remix, bro. Get, get off of that. What is that? That's a fake thing. You see my renegade? <laughs> he never did it though. It was a cloud. It was during COVID. Yes, bro. Obama was the best president. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Bro, Obama was the best president. Bro was black for real. For real. He did this whole thing about so you got uh, you need to mask up. You need to uh, stay six feet apart. You need to uh, be positive about your family. Stay safe. Anyway, now that we're done with that, you want my renegade? That's tough, bro. Bro, he just with propaganda. And then had to, all right, let me soften the blow. Bro, that's like a whole, like, that's like an uncle. I guess so. Bro was like, oh, come on, bro. I don't got people hate Obama. I don't yeah. understand how you hate Obama. That's very true. I never met the guy. What, did, topics. He, what did he do to us? He was so sarcastic. I loved it. True. When he told that guy, he was like, why did the world hate you? And he was like, well, not that many of them hate me because uh, I did get elected a second time. Oof. Whatever that was. I'm like, That's close. come on, off the top. Off the top. Off the top. Remember when he kissed that dude wife? No, wait, the what? Voting booth, bro. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, don't touch my wife, man, Mr. President. He embarrassing. Come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some, make him jealous. Obama is the president. Obama is so black. I don't care what nobody say, bro. That's what they said. He wasn't born here. I said, I don't know. Obama might have been born in Compton for real, for real. That's crazy, bro. Like, kiss his man wife. Obama is black. And I don't mean like African black. Like Obama is is hood. Obama from the West Side. West Side, bro. But technically South Side. Oh, yeah. Chicago. Chicago. 
Chicago. Ooh, so this Chicago. man was not born on the West Side. <laughs> Actually, what's how we're t- where are you where were you born? I was born in Stockton. Oh yeah, I knew that already. So what is that? I don't even know. They'd be like, "Oh, you're from like Northern California." I was, I was like, "Oh, nigga, maybe I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. You never been back to your hometown? I have. My my grandma lived there. Um, by Pittsburgh. It's kind of. That's north. Ooh, whatever it is, Pittsburgh is north. Bro, my heart is not. My heart's not even in where I live. Live now, bro. <laughs> where is your heart, Thomas? Uh, hopefully, it's with Jesus soon. This headache is crazy. Thank you. I needed this. So where is your heart, Thomas? In Texas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you. Just be honest. Texas. Bro, you need to go to Chicago. Just because I want you to see the uh, the look. You go to Old Block? I think we did. Um, no, you would know. <laughs> they would have told you. We just drove through. First of all, bro, I'm not scared of the hood. We were scared because we was on Elm Street. We went to, we went down Elm Street. Oh, damn. That's, we were scared. All them white people. That's a horror no movie. street lights. Oh. No street lights in real life, bro. Full, like, miles of streets. On Elm Street, I was like, no, and and they, I'm like, how y'all comfortable coming out? Like y'all come outside and take your trash out. People was outside taking their trash out and stuff. Like just living, no lights, Mm-mm. no flashlights. Like they can see. Like bye. Yeah, they and then they back there playing, running the windows down. Y'all better pop, pop y'all. Y'all better run the windows up. No, sir. I'll probably run the white folks. Like we went to see Bill Gates' house. That was scary. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm scared. That's Why? what I was saying. That's what you saying? Because I just felt demons. Around that, just the neighborhood. Yeah, you know, I think Jeff Bezos is the devil. Yeah, that's true. You do and, think that. And you know, they all live right there. So I really, I, like, I, I, I be funny, but so for real, I did not. I felt unsettled as soon as we got in that neighborhood. I felt unsettled. Word. It's some spirits over there. Cause, can, can, I just want to know, can you get that rich? Just being that stupid. You know, Phoebe Gates is trying to be. I'm, I'm so ran, like we're in the deep end right now. Yeah. But Phoebe Gates is like really trying to be different than her daddy, and from a social media perspective, anyway. And I just can't help but notice, like. Bill Gates in his documentary he talked about is uh they was in doing this big thing for malaria in uh Africa or whatever. And then Phoebe, when she was a child, she said, Um, you know, can we do something for him? He's sick. And then Bill was responded, he was like, Yeah, we're like building this machine. He was like, No, that's gonna help other people. Like, what about him? He's sick right now in front of us. She's a child, she said that. And then Bill Gates was like, you know, that changed my life. But then I don't think it really did because they didn't do anything for him and they cut it off right there and I was like, it didn't change his life. But it showed like, yo, I think Phoebe is like really trying to be different. And then based, based on the way she presents herself on social media and stuff, yeah. like I, I was like, backed on like what he said about her in passing and what she's doing, I want to meet her. And she's into black guys for sure, for sure. I should have known that about two years ago. I should have shot my shot. Mm. Would have lived a better life. <laughs> Would have had a good studio. Was she the same old age as you? No, but. <laughs> what, like 40 that? years old? Bro, I got Riz. You got you got Riz. I got Phoebe Riz. Billionaire daughter Riz. I have trillionaire daughter Riz. Dang. You see me on this Omegle. So what would you say to her? And I'd be like, Yo, is this what money really looks like? I don't want to be rich. I just play. I just play. I just play. I you know, threw up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I always come off strong with like an anti compliment. Yeah, you gotta you gotta bring her self esteem down. Down. And then shoot it back up. No. And keep it down. <laughs> I'm mid. What's wrong with you? Keep it low. Keep her standards low as can be. I'm mid. I need her to think that I'm Michael B. That's crazy. I'm like, whoa, you're ugly. Billionaire. Have you heard of ramen? No, because you're uneducated, unexperienced. Let me put you on. Now she's going to think about my ramen is bomb. Saying gaslight her. Be like, no, boo. Look at that. That's raw. Like, they can't even afford stoves back there. You know what I'm saying? That's what you. I'm going to just make her feel like everything she knows is like false. Dang, gets gas Butler, because you're lazy, we can there do it ourselves. Because we, we know, like, you know. <laughs> you know. Like, bro, bro gave us. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. I was like thinking about it, like, dang, Butler. Dang, it's, it's good. It's you got bad about that one. Yeah, dang, oh, I really do want a Butler. <laughs> yeah, bro, just gaslight the mess out of her. Yeah, she Make she her feel like her life is not that good. Mm-hmm. Then she just wants to live poor and live in, on old block. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, like, I give a little money, and then, like, my money. It's good money. Her money's not yeah. good enough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So she gives it all to you. Yeah. Well, no. I want. I want. I don't want her. She can. She. Yeah. Whatever. I want her money from her daddy. Yeah. I'm gonna meet him. Okay. 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 I get that. But there's a chance that he's gonna be like, "You destroyed my daughter. She like wears bonnets now outside." I'm like, "Wow. She. This is called culture. She wears <laughs> box braids and everything." You know what I'm saying? Well, I gotta see what she look like now, bro. Why she be like the most mid white girl in the world? She kind of cute, bro. For a white girl. Phoebe Gates. 
Girl's name is Phoebe. She be good at like giving like book recommendations. Oh, what the heck? She giving like TikTok, TikToker vibe. Like uh, what's that one TikToker name? Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah. Yeah, bro. She be but she be on her like giving book recs. She be like, these are my books that I read this month. Mm. Come on, bro. Oh, Look, that's her boyfriend. Look at him. Chocolate. You know what he is? Jamal. Yeah. Nigerian. Google it. Because I didn't even know. I didn't even think to look it up. Google it. Let's, let's see what his race is. Oh. Bring this podcast full oh circle. Oh, my gosh. Phoebe Gates. Boyfriend. Race. Uh, look at him kissing. Look at him kissing my wife. Black. Who is black. But wait, uh, what is he though? Yeah, like what kind of black? What nationality? No, What's no. His name? Let's look up his name. Criticism for black boyfriend is crazy. BB Gates. Boyfriend. Robert Ross. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bob Ross. Oh. Bro. Just type Phoebe Gates after nationality, I guess. <sighs> Look what American. Mm. The American now. I mean, I guess if he's just not represented, it won't be on there. Mm. I am dedicated to finding out his nationality. Yeah, bro. Look at that. Jerry so, uh, in, bro. He looks it. He looks it. Professional entrepreneur. Psst. Lives with his mom. <laughs> That's what it says in his wiki. <laughs> oh, let's see his education. So mm-hmm. He has a master's of computer science. Mm, that's you, bro. That's what I'm in. That's you. This is, he's mid, bro. Status unmarried. Can you put a ring on it? Uh. Sports football? Football? Oh, a quote, a quote here. Today you are you, and that's truer than true. There is no one alive that is youer than you. Bro, that's... That's freaking Dr. Seuss. He's not even original. Get some of my quotes. What did I say? What did ah. I say? Ah, come on. That's original. What else did I say? I said, I said, uh. I said, I don't know. I don't got no good quotes. You, you, you had a roll written down that black that black boy. I have a lot of good quotes. They all yeah. too deep, though. They're too deep for this environment. She, yeah. I can't even give it out for free. So, mean? Phoebe, if you want to know my quotes, just hit me up. I mean, you did have that one that was fire. You was like, uh... Uh, what if smoking crack just make you gay? <laughs> that was my favorite one because it's so real. That was a real quote though. That, that was, was introspective. Real, I bet that that black man was thinking about it. Robert Ross. That's so true. Do you even wear a bonnet to bed? Because you're not. You don't got your waves is not dipping, so you're not wearing a do rag for sure. Yeah. What do you do with your life? I have locks. I'm blacker than you. Oh, Robert. Your name is Robert. We'll find Ross. Ross. What if he's like a fan of the podcast? Imagine. He's one of our four viewers. Right, bro. He's like, oh, man. Shout out, Rob. Love you, Rob. Slime you me o, slime me o girl when you're done with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. No, I, I, I we're off topic, but I just wanted to wrap my thought. Yeah, there, there's you can't get that rich without doing some evil stuff. We all know that. We like, Or at least we know that's how I feel. Uh, and this, that ain't changing no time soon. And... Yeah, I mean, bro is out here making all these machines to cure malaria when he could just, like, people are dying from diarrhea. Like, do you understand that? Oh, Lord. And bro is out here trying to, like, provide them with, I don't know what he's trying to do. Like, it don't take that much. I seen it with my own eyes. It don't take that much. Bro, first of all, let's start by getting these kids some shoes because they can't be in school with no shoes because it spreads diseases. Can you just imagine... Like, white people out here are nasty and walk around with no shoes on by choice. Kids can't walk around with no shoes or they're considered, like, they are not considered. They are the poorest of the poor, and they can't go to school because they're going to spread disease. Spread disease from walking around. You understand that? Spread and contract diseases. And bro trying to build some the next level machine and, and doing math computations and traveling in his private jet when he feels like it. You know how much water could fill in that jet? And they're sitting there on the cameras in their face. Netflix is here for a documentary with the richest man in the world. Everybody wave. Bipi day. Bipi day. Shout out. Anti shout out Bill Gates. Shout out Phoebe though. Phoebe, me and you, we lock in, bro. We can change the world. We'll change your world. <laughs> I don't know about that world, bro. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, we're set. My head kind of hurts. I'm not going to cap. Your hair? What's your hair for? No water. Why you drink the water? I don't know. Oh, basically you're stupid. <laughs>